Okay, Sam. Now, I have to ask you this, and this is from a guy's point of view, and I really, really, as a guy, really don't want to know this, but at the same time, we've been having, where we've been running into a lot of Swift drivers yes. doing the same kind of runs that we do, right? Right. My thing is, what was the one thing that you just came across that made you want to laugh because the way we operate and this person was whining about? Yes. Um, I'm not sure if she got the impression that we were team drivers because I didn't say anything. She did a lot of talking. I did not. Um, there was um, a gal. She pulled up right with us at the rest area here. And... Uh, Went into the restroom, she was ahead of me. I come out of the stall, and she's drying her hands, and she goes, oh, these dryers don't work very well. And I go, well, they're dryers, you gotta give them a, a moment. And um, she then she proceeds to try to talk to me while I'm trying to blow dry my hands, which, as you all know, you can't hear nothing when you're in front of a dryer <laughs> trying to dry your hands. Anyways, what I got from her was she asked, um, if we were heading to Neely, Missouri, I believe, um, as well to the Proctor and Gamble. I said, yeah, we're on our way there. We got a few runs back to back for Proctor and Gamble. And uh, she goes, she goes, yeah, last night they wanted me to pick up a load from the, I believe she said St. Louis area, and go all the way up to New York by today. And I, I just kind of went, yeah, sometimes the planners don't get the times you empathized with her, even though her argument was... Yeah, and like I said, I didn't say much. I was just like, yeah, the planners can be like that. And at this point, I'm done drying my hands. I'm starting to walk out, and uh, she's still jabbering away, and she's just like, she goes, she goes, and that's just not possible to do. You know, she's saying how this run was impossible to do, and then that's why they gave her this run. And um, walking out... She goes, well, you know, and I've, I've got a pro star, and it was a load that was 45,000 plus pounds. And, you know, you, and then at this point, she sees that I'm walking to a pro star as well. And she goes, oh, yeah, you got a pro star, so, you know, you know how that is. It's just, you, feel, you know, fuel tank's full, and you can't do 45,000 plus pounds. And didn't we do, well, before you, I did 45,000 pounds with my first run for a target. Right. And we've done 45,000 pounds in the Volvos. Right. And 45,000 pounds... At this pounds... point, the, the walkway splits off. She took the one side to go to her truck, of course, and I took the other one. And she's still jabbering away. And then she stops at one point, and she's just like, Oh, just to let, let you know, too, just to save you some time. You know, have you ever been down to Neely before? I was like, no, it was the first time. She goes, oh, make sure you roll your tandems all the way back before you get there, just to save some time. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Thank you. Which, if you've ever done any type of Procter and Gamble, they most tell you to move it to a certain want, point. Yeah, most shippers and receivers want your empty to be either all the way forward or all the way back. Mostly all the way back. So I'm like, okay, thank you, you know, and and then she's saying something else. She's you know, you wanted to away. do one of these, right? Yeah, I'm just she's just jabbering away. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we'll see you there. Drive safe, you know. It was just like. Okay, stop talking to me because you're not giving me any valuable information and I want to smack you because, yes, you could have taken that load. Yes, you could have argued the times of it saying, I have to take this downtime. Yes, I can take the load. Haven't we done that? But you need to adjust the times because I can't do it in that time frame. Okay. And then that's the planner's job to either fit it to the schedule that you're on or to adjust it or to give it to somebody else. Which we've had all those scenarios. Yes. So, unless you communicate to the planners, Which they, don't, not. they don't know why you're rejecting the load. It's just looking at you're rejecting the load, and then that looks poorly on you. You know, we just heard, we were talking to the Swifties down at the yard when we were getting the Qualcomm in, and one guy was like, yeah, I knew of a guy who, he kept rejecting loads, and they finally told him to turn his keys in, turn his truck in. Yeah, because you're not doing the work. Well, you're not giving valid reasons to why you're rejecting it. You're just rejecting it. Exactly. And what what did I get in a text message today from the company saying, 100% on yes. time, my 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 acceptance, and all of a sudden that all were right. in the positive. It was like a little reward memo going, thank you for your hard work. But all in all, a lot of what people argue about when they're bitching, with, even about. with Swift drivers. Any driver. 
Yeah, any driver from any company we've noticed. It's so, in other words... It's the same thing. Oh, well, the loads aren't this and that and this and that. It's like, communicate. <laughs> so, my question to you, Sam. Hmm. If you had to base what this driver said, would it be by the what the driver was doing themselves? Or was it that Swift company aspects? Who would you blame? Swift or the driver and the way they're, they're running this if show? I, pro- I would probably blame the driver because it was like... If at that point I was looking for if I was looking for information about a company, I'd want them to elaborate more. But most of the time these drivers are not elaborating. So yeah, it looks like you're complaining about the company, but in reality it's the driver. So it's driver failure. Exactly. Not company failure. Exactly. And that's the difference, is then you have to kind of weave through what a lot of these drivers are saying and try to distinguish the, between the two. So So but, all in all all in all, though, it's been a very interesting past few days running into other Swifties. And we'll leave it on that, right? Yes. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?